Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, I just go straight to the point. So, we already um, learned how to do um, solving trigonometric equation before this. So, I ask you to study on three basic identities. So, here you go. So, these are the three basic identities. The really basic one that you need to understand on how to solve this. Okay, the first one we have sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1. So, if we want to find sine square x, so this is equals to 1 minus cos square x. So, if you want to find cos square x, then it will be cos square x, it will be 1 minus sine square x. Okay, so same goes with the other two. Okay, so I'm not going to show you with these two. I just want to go straight to the, the first example on solving trigo for angle in between x greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 360 degree. So, first thing first, we have to see the, the trigonometric use. So, we have cos square x and we have sine x. So, by using the basic identities here just now, we know that we have to change cos to sine so that we have the same trigonometric in one equation. So what I do with that is 6, I replace cos square x to be 1 minus sine square x minus sine x minus 5 equals to 0. So what I do next is that I have to expand this because we have 6. Our coefficient in front of cos square x is 6. Then I need to um, expand 6 inside the bracket. So, next is, I expand this, then I get 6 minus 6 sine square x minus sine x minus 5 equals to 0. And what I do next is that I have to rearrange it so that the highest power will be in front, the second highest power will be the second one, and without power will be at the last uh, arrangement. So, what I do next is 6 sine square x minus sine x. So, 6 and negative 5. Uh, if I have to solve this, I get plus 1 equals to 0. Okay? So, okay, next one. This is very crucial, yeah, kids. Where you see your um, highest power is with negative. So, basically, I always want to solve this I always want to make it easier for me and to solve the rest of the questions by multiplying this with negative 1. So if I multiply this equation with negative 1, what I get is that I will get 6 sine square x plus sine x minus 1 equals to 0. Now at this part, some of you might say, how to solve this? You got sine square, you got sine x. And you got minus 1. So this is actually the same like uh, quadratic equation. Solving quadratic equation. Okay? Solving quadratic equation. So how do you solve quadratic equation? So if you don't really understand how to do this, you can always change this with by letting let. Sorry. So you let sine x as x. So, you put 6 because our sine x is just now is x. So, because we have sine square x, you have to put x square plus x because our sine x is x minus 1. 1, we have not changed it with anything because 1 is 1. Okay? Sine x is x. So, this is equal to 0. Now, take your calculator. Then you can calculate uh, using the factorization. And you'll get 6x. Oh, sorry. It's not supposed to be 6. It's supposed to be 3x minus 1. And another one will be 2x plus 1 equals to 0. So what I do next is, you already got your quality equation. So I need to replace back. Replace. Sine x. Sorry. I have to replace x as sine x again okay so i replace back so what i get is that i will get 3 sine x minus 1 
and 2 sin x plus 1 equals to 0. Now, at this part, you have two values and you have two um, ways to solve it. One is by taking 3 sin x minus 1 equals to 0. And another one by taking 2 sin x plus 1 equals to 0. Now, to solve this, we have done this before in class. So, this is super easy. I know you know how to solve this. Negative 1 over 2. Now, looking at this, we know that negative 1 over 2 for sine, it should be at quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. Okay? And another one is if you see that this is positive and it is sine, so you will have the value will be in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. So, take your calculator and calculate it for me. What is the reference angle for x? What is the value for x? So, if you calculate that, no. you will get uh, x is equal to 19.47 degree. Okay? So, that will be in quadrant 1. So, what about quadrant 2? So, in quadrant 2, you will get 180 degree plus 19.47. I'm not going to repeat back what... How to get why why do I need to add with 180 degree because we have done this before so I just go straight forward on how to find the value so the next one you'll get 199.47 degree kids you can always change your answer with degree and minute so if you change the, uh, the answer in degree and minute you'll get 199 degree 28 minutes so for 19.47 you need you just need to push the the um comma button so you'll get 19 degree 28 minutes both of these answers are correct so i'm going to solve this one now so your x will be here because 1 over 2 is the special angle so you can Without using calculator, you can get the answer. So, sin x is supposed to be the reference angle should be in 30 degree. But because our value is in quadrant 3 and quadrant 4, so our x should be uh, 180 degree plus 30 degree. And another one is 360 degree minus 30 degree. Okay? So, you'll get 210 degree and another one is 330 degree. So, to make a conclusion of what your x is, so we can conclude that x is actually equals to 19.47 degree, 199.47 degree, 210 degree, and 330 degree. Okay? That's all.